What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I'm tapping in. It's on a Saturday night, guys. In this game, guys, you want to begin to change your mindset so we can change the culture. And part of that means either cutting back on clubbing and going out and just immersing yourself in researching the stock market, learning about charts and technical analysis and price action and all these things that can change the trajectory of you and your family guys that's what we're going to dive into on the night man i got something i want to go over with you guys so class will be in session okay but with that being said do me a favor please like and subscribe make sure you help me help this video get at least 2,000 likes okay if you can do that for your boy i gladly appreciate it without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it okay guys check it out man we are at a crossroads in the stock market right now so you guys know around here man we take it one day at a time one play at a time okay on a road to 100k on our 100k challenge right but with that being said there's so much teaching and so much to learn along the journey is something to teach every day because that's just how much information that it is that's available that's out there okay but with that being said today i'm going to go over some things so i want you guys to take some notes on the day okay if you love learning this because you know it's going to help you down the road please make sure you let me know down in the comments below but today guys i'm going to take you through some things as it relates to where you guys need to kind of be positioning yourself when you're at a crossroads in the market what does a crossroads mean it just simply means from here we can either go down or from here we can either blast back up okay but we're at that critical point where we just we just it, it remains to be seen and so this week will be very very telling okay so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into a few things that are at a crossroads before we dive into the lesson on the day just looking at a few things we're going to go through a few things very very briefly guys just so i can kind of create and set the stage for us okay vanguard ticker symbol vti currently sitting at 211.50 this is down from that 215 ish level okay so again something to note on the week is down one percent okay nothing we're really tripping about but it's things you want to be mindful for because listen around here we don't chase we don't fomo we don't buy high what we will do though is when these plays come back down to levels where we can dollar cost average we can load up and add to our positions we will do that okay so keep your eye on vti and it will be time to buy again when it's at 200 or below okay if it comes back and retraces that far you need to say ding 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 time to go shopping okay you always got to have a game plan next is nvidia guys ticker symbol nvda sitting at 177 guys this has been around at 180 189 range now you see here it is down here back under 180 okay so listen same thing guys you're going to have a chance to kind of chip away at some of this when it gets back to the levels we like and that's 150 or below and then you're going to ride it back up here one theme i want you guys to take away is do you see why we say don't chase all of these plays have came to these levels fell back down ran back up fell back down okay your job is to have your game plan intact and know the prices that you want to enter at especially when you're dealing with a quality company you have checked the fundamentals you did your due dd on all that else kind of things to know that you're investing in quality okay and then one more for the road is palantir ticker symbol pltr this is a more high risk play. This one is sitting at $8.49. I've seen this as high as $10. So the fact that it has pulled back, matter of fact, it's down 13% just this week alone, okay? And that's what it can do, 18% on a month. So with that being said, guys, know where you want to enter at, okay? If that's $7, if that's $6.50, but then you ride it back up because this play, charge point and others was just up 100% from whatever the lows were that you could have got at just not too long ago, okay? So again, just wanted to tap being with a couple plays and touch on a couple plays, I should say, for you guys to kind of just see where they're at now. And if this pullback does happen, 
the buying opportunity that all of you guys will have if any of these happen to be placed you are interested in gaining more shares in or buying and holding for the long term okay with that being said let's go ahead and dive into the spy okay guys ticker symbol spy sitting at 421.75 follow me on this guys class is in session now okay follow me on this let's go out to our three month chart okay and we are looking at the three month chart not for how much it's up in three months we can care less about that okay i want you to see the design and the layout of this chart okay i'm going to walk you through some stuff and then i'm going to show some graphics to help you kind of know okay so follow where we are at and follow my screen okay guys the reason why we say the trend is your friend is because all the way back here from june 16th okay which was a 366 this play has done nothing but going up 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 and up all the way guys to august 16th to 429.70 and if you were in this day to day with us with me you guys know this touch 430 it actually hit 431 okay but look at this august 16th so this is when we say the trend is your friend the trend is always your friend whether up or down okay so understand that but the trend was going up on this so trying to buy a put was a no-no but this level right here 429 was resistance okay that's called a top or a ceiling when we talk about that okay and i'll give a, a demonstration shortly but look at this guys finally it fell it fell downward okay it broke the trend okay and it came to one of our levels which was 425 okay that's a critical support level number one okay and if you look at the current price it is currently 421.75 okay so what does this mean and how do you guys play this take advantage of this but more importantly make money off of this okay now that the trend is broken we're no longer just headed up in a straight line okay pullbacks are good pullbacks are expected but when you pull back and break through a support level 425 for us okay now we are looking to see will our 420 support level hold up so it's sitting at 421 75 but check this out guys right here this this little dip right here this is this is marking out 411 let's go to this next dip this dip is 408 okay let's go all the way over here the top of this peak is 415 417 and then 415 so this is where we say if it falls through 420 we're looking for this 415 anywhere from 415 to 410 to be that next level of support guys okay and hopefully it bounces off of 420 but in case it don't which again is a 50 50 chance right now if it comes to this level hopefully this holds up as stronger support okay and then you will begin to see if we start the uptrend again and start making new all-time highs or start a new bull market if not guys if these levels don't hold up there's a strong likelihood that we could go into another bear market cycle and some say the new the lows are in but some say we may make and create new all-time lows okay but let's go ahead and break this down okay guys i pulled this out for you and i drew a line across because i want to teach you guys what was once resistance look at this white line and look where it's at this white line represents that 415 level that we talk about so 425 was critical support 420 was critical support and the next level of support that we are looking for it to hold up okay it's 415 okay so we're hoping if we have a down week this week if the market sells off it's to start bleeding we hope it bounce off this white line and goes back up towards 425 430 this is what you hope for this is what you play though okay but in the event that it don't one thing i want to teach you guys and show you guys this when we were back at june 16th lows and we were in a deep deep bear market this was resistance now we have broken through this and we're sitting at 421 and this is going to serve as support okay and so sometimes you guys ask me chris what is support what is resistance okay guys it can 
at times be a barrier for you, then it could t sometimes be your saving grace. Okay, that's why these things matter, knowing your TA and knowing where prices will go and where they will fall to. So this line is important, but that line is sitting around that 415, 410-ish level, okay, give or take. That's where we're saying we hope if we do have a pullback, that's that's okay. That's needed to, in order to go higher. You can't just go up in a straight line in the stock market. But if it breaks through this, guys, then the full trend is broken. The bear market rally is over as well. Okay, you need to know that. So if we come back down through this line, you will hear me say, guys, we have to switch to puts. We're not just being bearish for no reason we will be forced to be bearish because stocks won't go up no more they'll just go down 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 okay that's what we've been doing for eight months okay and if you've been in the game a longer than that since november of 2021 but what we want to show you guys is okay you still remain bullish right now you just are going through a pullback if it pulls back through this white line though guys the trend has fully broken so because it will have broken through support and now we're going down okay and if we start going down you have to know we gonna start looking for areas and buy zones we want to buy more stock at we're going to dollar cost average and if you want to make some money while plays are falling or free falling you can buy some puts and ride them down okay so i just wanted to put that on you guys so that you know what is support what is resistance sometimes what was once resistance turn into support okay we couldn't get over 415 for the longest guy this whole year we have not been able to get over 415 now we finally got over it but now the trend has finally begun to crack a little bit and we're retesting it to see will it hold up for us this particular week if it don't boom the free fall begins but over here we'll have a game plan on how we play it okay listen guys man i hope this was helpful these are the things that again on your journey you want to kind of embrace you want to kind of dive into you want to kind of be in the know of and i'm showing you this because everything is slow from the spy so if the if, if the spy breaks through support all your plays are going down that's just how the game go so don't think that i'm not covering other stocks i'm trying to teach you where everything flows from so if you know what this is doing and this breaks through that line boom all other stocks going to crash down apple tesla everything y'all like and love playing okay now if this bounces off of this and goes back up to 425 430 then our new level will be 435 guess what all your stocks are going to rise and rock it off okay that's how the game go but you need to know these things so that you can use them to your advantage and make wise decision on your day-to-day -day journey okay listen guys hope this was helpful we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one if you found value in this please make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you help this video get at least 2,000 likes guys remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some freestyle cues in my I'll link below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.